welcome. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Hi, I want to introduce you to a couple of uh, really amazing people. And everyone's having too much fun. I mean, you know, the theme of the show is party, so what do you expect, right? My name is Terry Beswick, and I'm the executive director of the GLBT Historical Society. Thank you all for being here tonight. Um, I just want to say a couple of words very quickly about the Historical Society. We have, were founded here in San Francisco in 1985. Uh, right at the beginning of the era that's exemplified in this exhibit, actually. Um, we were started by a couple of uh, queer historians in San Francisco that were collecting periodicals going back decades. People with AIDS were dying in San Francisco. Their things were being tossed. Their families didn't appreciate or recognize their historical significance, their cultural significance. So the founders of our organization started grabbing this stuff, the kind of stuff that you see in these exhibit cases around uh, the museum here, and preserving them in our archives. So we have an archives, uh, we've moved several times uh, the new location. Actually, it's not new anymore, it's about a year and a half. We've been down on uh, Market Street, Central Market. We're downstairs from Zendesk, in the basement with no windows, climate controlled, and we have tons of great stuff there. If you haven't, been, how many people here have been to the archives? Can you show hands? Gerard, you don't count. So anyway. Uh, well, the rest of you, if you join the Historical Society, you can come and visit the archives and dig around, whether it's in your own personal memories or the memories of our community going back 100, 150 years. And you can also bring people to the museum here uh, whenever you have an out-of-town guest you're looking for something to do, you bring them to the museum and you take a quick look, uh, spin around and you know you can see the history going back before World War I in San Francisco all the way up to Club Uranus. And uh, so that's fantastic. It's a great way to pe uh, show people around. So join the Historical Society. Can I see how many people here are members of the GLBT Historical Society? Yay! Thank you all. I won't ask at what level. But, uh, the five million dollar level. I, you know, but a membership started thirty dollars a year, and so uh, uh, the the regular memberships are fifty, and they go up from there. And we have a bunch of perks and benefits. Um, but uh, you know, why do you want to be a member of the historical society? Because stuff like this ain't cheap, you know? And uh, because this and the archives are not cheap. It costs a lot of money. Our, our budget went up to almost a million and a half this year. Um, our staff in the last few years has gone from three to nine, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for us it's significant. Um, and, but more importantly, we have a lot more work to do. Uh, this museum is too small to adequately represent our communities. We're very proud of what we're able to do here. We have the Two-Spirit exhibit. Please take a look at that while you're here. Um, and uh, all, all the exhibits here, uh, you know, they seem to be getting smaller as we try to get more representation in, and so we're able to do less depth around the uh, exhibitions that we have. And so we're working very hard uh, to build a much larger organization. So if you invest in us, we will return the investment back to you and to the community to, for all time and for younger generations to be able to enjoy what our community has created and our extreme diversity that we have. And so I just want to say I'm so proud that I'm old enough now that I can see my youth represented also um, in, uh, in the museum. Um, I kind of, I haven't watched the whole video yet, but I'm expecting that I'm going to be in one of the crowd scenes or something like that. I don't remember any of it, and I won't tell you why. <laughs> but it's good to, you know, I'm having some synapses firing as I look through. Um, and uh, so it's exciting to be, uh, to see this actually come to fruition. I'm really proud of Marky Vishke and Melissa Hawkins and Scott <laughs> And for giving us the opportunity to showcase it. And I just want to mention very briefly, I have a couple of great staff people that get no recognition. 
Uh, Jeremy Prince is our exhibitions director, is in the back. Um, and without him, uh, you know, this wouldn't be possible. Also, Kelsey Evans, our archives director, is here. Um, Elizabeth Cornu uh, is our uh, exhibitions coordinator, and she's not here. I think she left. Um, Ramon Sylvester is, you know, he never gets any credit at all. And, you know, he's the registrar in the archives, and uh, his husband does the graphics for the exhibits, and so we get a two for one. Um, so with that, I just want to introduce Marky Bischke. He's uh, the former board member of the Historical Society, so he's very passionate about queer history. He's a nightlife historian. Uh, he's one of the founders of the Stud Collective, and, uh, and one of the owners there. It's a 52-year-old bar, one of the oldest bars that's still living in, or still around in San Francisco. Um, so, it is still alive, isn't it? It's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And very much alive. And um, also, uh, he's the publisher at 48 Hills and at the Bay Garden. And so, uh, so we're very excited that he's brought his passion uh, to the museum. And I'm so excited to see all the beautiful images up here tonight. So I'm going to let him introduce Melissa. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for DJ Junkyard and Club John. Um, I also wanted to thank a few people. Um, I'd like, love to thank Valeria who hung our show and made it beautiful. The prints are beautiful. Um, to our liquor sponsors, <laughs> to our liquor sponsors, Precept Winery who, promoted, who brought the rosé. Thank you, Alec. And also, thank you. Let's hear it for Precept Winery. Try their wine. Thank you. Try their wine. And Third Point Beer. And if you haven't had a Four Point Beer or a Precept Wine, please come to the back. This show was very uh, personal to me because I moved here in 1994, and all of these people were incredible giants to me, and I was just like, wow, they have their look together, they have everything together. And it was a crazy time, and I'm so pleased that I could just honor this generation being up here during probably one of our darkest times. Um, I want to mention that we're in another dark time right now, yes. um, as we all know, and nightlife is responding again. Um, I'm a member of the Stud Collective. We banded together 17 people who bought the stud and kept the stud alive, and we're hoping to model and collective ownership because we're the only nightlife co-op in the world. So. And the official party is at the, the official after party is at the stud tonight. Please come by, come down, we live your Soma nightlife dreams. <laughs> and I'm also the publisher of 48 Hills, which is a local media site. Um, Melissa got her start in local media. And local media we know is dying, so we've tried to keep it alive by covering stuff like this. So please go to 48hills.org and visit us and see what we have. Anyway, the star of the show is Melissa Hawkins. <laughs> yes! Wow, this is just uh, one of the most amazing uh, experiences I've ever had. I want to thank the museum and the Historical Society. So let's become members because I don't know if you remember when we were in our teens and 20s, and we had to have rumors about who was gay and who wasn't gay and who maybe in our history, oh, was a famous person that might have been gay. Let's not leave that to rumors anymore. Let's join the society and keep it all alive and, and present so that society can know that gay people are actually really important for our world. <sighs> so thank you. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, so much. Night, such a magical night for me, and and let's keep those who couldn't be here in our hearts yes. forever. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the show. Get some wine and beer in the back. <laughs> we'll switch over to DJ Junkard. Yeah.